shouted Herc, and with a loud hissing noise, his gas bag tummy inflated, and he began bouncing bizarrely along the beach, beating his huge tail and flapping his four wings as he gradually picked up speed. Luke could scarcely believe such a huge creature could leave the ground, but with a final flick of his tail, the giant launched itself skywards. Up into the air they flew, and into the dazzling infinity sky, inland across the backwards flowing river, climbing ever higher. Below they could see the great valley and the arches, and as they rose still further, all of infinity stretched out in a great swirl before them, the land and the backwards flowing river spiralling in towards the distant centre of the island. Then Moog looked back, over the sea of tranquility. On the far horizon, he could just make out little shapes bobbing on the ocean. Thousands of them. And as he stared harder, he saw that they were leaf boats, just like the one he'd arrived in. There's more and more arriving every day now, said Patrick, following the boy's gaze. I haven't seen it so busy since I first arrived, Herc shouted up. It's no surprise the registrar's so moody. As Moog watched the little boats, he began to feel sad. And as he did, he heard a tune drifting on the air, across the island and out over the sea. It was as if infinity itself was calling. Not long before your birthday Ten thousand years ago The world was full of beauty And you can hear us 